Speaking of the man of the moment, BJ Sam, we have him live on the lines with us as we speak. Do you want to say hello to the listeners, BJ Sam? Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? It's feel good being here today with you all. Please don't touch the dial. Don't touch the dial. Keep listening to the old program today. Awesome. Glad to have you with us on the lines, um, BJ Sam. So I'm going to do a quick bio about BJ Sam, also known as Benjamin Samuel, and his stage name, which is BJ Sam. He has been pouring out all his imagination, creativity, and talent into the pursuit of creating music that will bring joy, melody, and brilliance to the universe. Now he has released his singularly dynamic and beautiful wedding proposal anthem for all the lovebirds across the globe. Amen to that. The global appeal of the song is underpinned by its bright visuals and juxtaposing views of a tropical paradise with equally picturesque snow-covered winter scenes. The beautiful lady in the video is known as Spice Model and she surely is in every sense of both words. BJ Sam featured other incredibly gifted world class musicians in the song including Greek guitarist Nicholas Gilatinos, also German born legendary saxophonist Biggie Winkelow, Norwegian drummer Held Hansen. And by the way, it's also stated that it is an unusual thing to see an old Caucasian man drumming Afro pop in the snow, but Helge pulls it off. And acclaimed Swedish musicians Magnus Rosen and Mikhail Erlensen. So that is a short bio about BJ Sam and his recent release, which was Marry Me the song that we just played shortly as well by the way we also mentioned that he dropped yesterday his recent most recent song which is Mon Amor we're gonna be chatting to him about that as well in the moment so BJ Sam once again it's awesome having you with us on the lines today how are you doing thank you so much Ryan I'm good I'm doing I'm just doing pretty good and I feel good being here today with you Wow, that's really awesome. We are really awesome and glad to have you with us on the lines. So going into our questions for the moment. So based on growing up in the music scene, early influences, who were your earliest musical influences and how did they shape your style? Basically, I grew up in an Orthodox church and a classical environment, classical music environment where I learned uh, classical music first. I was in a classical choir, you know. Yeah. The voices are so beautiful, harmony together. Mm-hmm. You know, they are a song that touches deeply into the heart, you know. Yeah. So growing up there, I used to listen to basically classical songs. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Those kind of songs, Those are kind yeah. of songs, you know. <laughs> Bringing the prem melodies, just like the uh, Zulu kind of song, choir kind of uh, a cappella kind of song that is known in South Africa. Yeah. Those were kind of the songs I was actually exposed to classical then a cappella. You know, when I decided to go as a solo artist, the people that I used to listen to then, at a point I used to listen to Michael Jackson anyway, at a point. Mm-hmm. At a point I used to listen to Lionel Richie, Steve Wonder. Mm-hmm. So those were the kind of people I used to listen to. Wow. And before the death of Michael Jackson, I used to like this song that he did with um, Akon. So, uh, yes, yes, I love to um, yeah, Lonely, uh, um, what's that song again that he did uh, with Akon? He did one song with Akon. I like that song so much. This kind of song, I, I, I like uh, Phil Collins, uh, Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. Lana Ricci, those were the kind of people I listened to when I started going as a solo musician. Yeah. So I think the song you were looking for when you mentioned Michael Jackson that did with Akon as well, uh, I think it's called Wanna Be Starting Something, I believe. Uh, it's, 
um, the song is uh, sorry, I'm going to lay hand on it. It was talking about a love song or it's a love song. I'm, I'm going to just find it out. So it's a, a very lovely song, lovely slow song. The melodies are catching, heartfelt melody. Uh -huh. Hold my hands, hold my hands. Oh, yes, hold that, my hands. That one. Girl, I promise I'll be all I keep. You know, I like this yes, kind of song. That's Lovely a, song. That's another song. awesome one yeah. as well. Yeah. So, basically, those were the kind of songs I used to like to listen early in those days. Yeah. That's really great stuff, uh, BJ Sam. And then also regarding um, music education, did you receive any formal music training or were you mostly self-taught? Okay, basically I was taught in the, in the classical choir by one of the... because there were uh, some white people were coming around from the U.S. Then uh, yeah. from the U.S. Then um, at a time, this, this man that used to... Uh, train me those days is is one of a, it's a classical music icon right now in the UK. His name is Nino 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 Basa. He's a, he's a very great uh, composer, classic composer. Those were the people that I was that was training us in the choir. And then afterwards, I started taking some music classes, uh, both online and offline. And personally, I went for some couple of training. Yeah. Uh, before I started teaching uh, music in the secondary schools and primary schools, that was a while ago. But right now, I don't really teach music again. I teach something else in the university. That's great stuff, um, BG Sam. So, uh, regarding career path, how did you transition from being an aspiring musician to a recognized artist? It's, it's all about it's all about consistency. Yeah. You know, I will be recording. I can remember the first song I recorded with the classical choir. Then was way back in two thousand and two, I think so. Two thousand and four, two thousand and three, two thousand and three, four. So, but, but that was way back, you know. But then I was still in the choir, you know. But after when I went as a, a solo artist, I started. It was it wasn't easy because I wanted to be different from every sound that was coming. Though sometimes I jump on the water wagon to on the train but i actually wanted to make a particular sound that i've identified with identify with you know so i've been trying to and at the same time i wanted to have this universal sound i don't just want to have a sound that was said okay this is african sound this is this particular sound i wanted to be versatile i don't want to be stereotype i don't want to be uh called but i don't want to be to be addressed as a particular genre of music because I wanted my mission initially has always been global. I want to how do I fuse the global world together? So that's why you can see most of my songs. You see me fusing some instruments from uh, from Europe with African together from another part from together. So I'm trying to fuse just to bring everybody together. Yes, that's awesome stuff. Um... So from there, yeah. from there, after a while, people get to notice. The difference, the that this song sound is actually uh, unique. I remember a time a Warner Music uh, director mm -hmm. uh, sent me an email and said, "What we are very, very we love what you're doing. We're interested in producing your music. Even Universal Music uh, said, okay, we are interested. But now what they are looking at are the figures on the streaming because they really need this, the streaming figures to be at a way, but a particular point work which we are working on right now. So we're trying to get everything to make sure that our streaming numbers increase because that's what they are really after. They want to see the streaming numbers up to a particular point so they can actually pick it up. It will be easier for them to project from that particular point. That's true. That's great stuff, um, BJ Sam. So regarding um, challenges, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced in your early career? Basically, as a musician, every musician has to know that there's composition. If you're a musician, a singer, that one is easier. It's, no one will say it's difficult for me to compose. <laughs> it's, it's easier because you cannot be a musician without being able to compose. 
True. You cannot be a singer without being able to compose or have a good voice. So that aspect has always been uh, easier. But now to go to the studio become might not is not that expensive for some people anyway. But now the challenge is promotion and the video. Promotion and the video. Promotion and the video. Now sometimes you might have some musicians, their music went viral, but nobody knows them. They don't know the face of that particular person because they were not able to gather resources to shoot a good video. So people know the song. They don't know. I actually wanted to feature some couple of artists from different part of the world, like Africa. Okay, uh, I want to feature this lady. Oh, who is the name of that person? Ah, the lady that sang this song. Oh, the guy that sang this song. Oh, I know the song, but we don't know him. We don't know how. Maybe the song was viral for like six months. The video never came out. When the video, the person eventually did the video, the song is no longer viral again. Yeah. You see. So that's one thing. So one of the problem was getting the video good video of your recording for a long time it took me like many years to put to get the first video so the problem was video number one how to get video and uh, secondly good promotion good promotion yeah. so good video good promotion eventually right now after there's always an issue between dir- directors and music uh, musicians yes. because for them to able to portray your the vision you have is difficult for most music directors for them to buy your take your own vision because they have their own vision as video directors and if you give them your own vision most of the time they might not want to take it <laughs> because if they don't like the vision the idea of the video the concept they won't project it they, say, they, they won't or even if they say they will after shooting they will be do the be the one to do the Man, editing and everything, they can change every, anything they want to change. So most of the time I find myself that this is not the image I want, this is not the idea I want, but you are not the director. That's why they are called the directors. Yes. So eventually I went into this training to learn how to shoot and edit my videos. All the things I've been doing, uh, my videos, what I did my video myself. So from the conception, I know a little bit about audio. I will tell my instrumentalist, this is what to play, this is what to play, this is the instrument to play. So I have a good idea. I do some programming. I send to each of them, and they produce. We work together, and I do do I do the first rough mixing, and I give it to another producer, another engineer to mix and master. When it comes to the video, I give them this is what I want, this is what I want, and I did, I did sometimes I shoot, sometimes I have people decree that shit for me, and I do the editing myself. So I'm able to project from the beginning before even recording the song. I have the idea of the video, I have the idea of the audio, I have the idea of everything. At the end of the day, since I'm the one following, doing everything, almost I'm involved in most of the part, especially the video aspect, I can actually achieve the results I intended from the beginning. So that is good. For the video, I don't have any problem now again. Now, the next thing I want to do right now is to channel. Uh, all I need right now is just a, a proper marketing yeah. campaign to get the, the song across the world. That's really solid stuff, um, BJ Sam. So going into um, going into your song, which you released some time back, which was "Marry Me." Uh, some questions based on the song uh, regarding inspiration. What inspired you to write a song like "Marry Me"? Was there a personal experience or story that influenced its creation? Uh, basically, uh, basically, it wasn't. It wasn't. Let me say, um, "Marry Me" is a song I did many years ago. Okay. Then I recorded it all over again. Okay. Now, "Marry Me" because music. You have to understand something. My music have the same mess. My music have this a universal message first. Yes. All of my music have the same uh, universal message. Not just because universal. What is it that? is done in every part of the world that is what i do yeah. i don't think of something that applies to one country like there's a song i'm from new york everyone is not from new york for instance yeah. i'm from new york so if i'm from south africa i would say i am from new york you are not from new york you're from south africa so i don't do a song like that i do a song that is applicable to everywhere like birthday song wedding song joy song fig trees something that applies to everybody and marry me is something that everyone will sing to, everyone will dance to. Everybody wants to marry someday. <laughs> Those true. who are married want to talk about marriage. 
the younger ones they want to marry. So will you marry me? Is a wedding song that I actually composed for yes. the entire universe, for everyone across the world. It's really awesome stuff, um, uh, BJ Sam. So looking at um, awesome, looking at global appeal, how did you intend to create a song that would resonate with people from different cultures and backgrounds? What were your goals in terms of the visuals and musical elements? As I said, the good. As I uh, remember, I talked about the video. Yes, the yes. video for people to act because he, he has never existed before. Yes. You would, he, he's, um, he's, you, you've never, even that's why people are, are, are mesmerized. They are surprised. They are wondering, ah, is it possible you feature people from all over the world? This Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I featured everybody from all over the world. There is, I've done so many songs. We did a song for Ukraine. All over the world, we had artists from all over the world on the song. Even yes. BBC have been programming an interview with me and Billboard magazine. They were amazed. How we? How are you able to get all those people? Now, when it's come to, I I know that because when it comes to an event like World Cup, they will need something like this in the future, in the nearest future. World Cup, FIFA World Cup, anything that is global, like Olympic, to bring people of different origin together, they will need something like this. But most of the time, these people need to travel to be in the same venue to shoot the video. Now, basically, now I don't need to be in the same venue with the people. Yeah. They are, they are, they can be in different part of the world. I'm gonna stay one place and shoot the video, do the audio, do the video, and it's gonna as if appear as if we are in the same location. Yes. That is technology. People don't I, I keep wondering how is that made possible. That is the wisdom that God has given to me. That's the only way. That's the wisdom God has given to me. People are wondering yeah. how is it made possible because most of the time these people speak in different languages. So how do you communicate with them? Yeah. Thanks be to God, I can speak several languages. Sure. Um, I can speak several languages, so God has been helping me in any way. But the global, I actually, as I said, right from the time, I actually wanted to create music that will unite the world. Yeah. Because I believe that even though we might be defying culture, we might be defying color, we might be defying languages, which is tongue, we might be defying belief, we have the same blood flowing through our veins, and we are created by one God. That's true. So there's something that she unite us. Yeah. There's something that she unite us. Love should unite us. So what I try to do is I try to bring something that unite us. Yeah. Love unite us. Nobody want to nobody want to say I I don't want love, I want hatred. Even the devil himself wants love. <laughs> Even the devil wants to be loved. Nobody will reject love. Nobody reject love. Exactly. Nobody or trust reject love. That's right. Nobody reject compassion. Yes. Nobody reject appreciation. You won't say thank you so much. You look so beautiful. And they say, get away. I am ugly. Nobody wants to say that. That's true. <laughs> yes. Everybody. So these are the things that I bring into music. Yes. This is what I encourage in my music. We love culture. We love nature. No matter where we come from. Yes. We should be able to sit together and eat together. It's so, it's so, it's so sad that we see what is happening in UK lately, yes. in France, in Europe, even this week in South Africa, discrimination of colors and race. Yes. I believe we can actually sit together and work together. That's why you see this song is 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 largely heard in uk even last week i told you uk is going to love you so much most of the tv station radio stations mm -hmm. in uk are projecting it are promoting the new song uh, Mon Amour. and uh, even you you saw the news yesterday the news yes. yesterday uh, uh on the europe today news the news is spreading because imagine if the, our society have been projecting images like this there won't be chaos in our society if in South Africa and other part of the world we see black and white getting married, we see these people, these people where they are crisis, they are doing good businesses together, they are doing good things together, there won't be a need for us to fight each other. Exactly. And I really want us to come together, unity, no matter our colors, our greed, our differences, our opinion, we should find a common ground whereby we can actually work together. That's really true. That's really deep stuff, um, BJ Sam as well. So regarding collaboration, um, can you talk about the experience of working with such a diverse uh, group of musicians from around the world? How did their different styles and perspectives okay. contribute to the final product? OK, 
okay, good. Uh, now, working with artists from all over the world, you need to realize that if you see my music, yeah, some of my songs, you see the rock musicians are there, jazz musicians are there, African musicians are there, American musicians are there, Indian musicians are there. Now, how did you work together? <laughs> how do you work together? Because now the sounds are not different, are not the same. Yes. American have another sound, European have another sound, the Asian have another sound, African have another sound. How do you bring these people together? My first song was very difficult because one guy, it was a rock, uh, it was a country song, a country singer. So, country, it, so he like, bah, bah, bah. It, was, it was difficult for him to sing on the beat. <laughs> so we needed to try to do everything. So what I have been trying, I've learned over the time is that you make the beat, you do, that's what we call fusion. Yes. Music fusion, you fuse all the instruments. Yes. It takes a lot of ideas, it takes divine ideas, it takes a lot of wisdom, it takes divine wisdom. God gave me the wisdom. I'm able to take instruments from India, like if I do a song, I take an instrument that is very, very known in India. That a, because in every country, there's a principal instrument yes. in every music. African music has percussion, rhythmic. When you come about African music, you talk about rhythmic. Yes. So, okay. So I take some instrument. I take one of the instruments in African music. Another instrument from this, and fuse and play with, along with them and see which one goes well, which one goes well, and that's how it is done. Then I now create the beat. I don't make it monotone. I make it in such a way that everyone could be able to sing. If you are a rapper, you are a rock artist, whoever, whoever you are, you are able to play, contribute as a musician, or contribute as a singer. So he has been did it like this and it has been working so wonderfully well it's been working so wonderfully in uh merry christmas is one of is the first global christmas song we feature a uh, bollywood a uh, actress who's a singer she's very popular jasmine narula even when we wanted to release the song yes. uh the, the music platform said that we can't release that song because this is a very big musician <laughs> that we don't have as they said they need a letter from the musician the letter, she sent a letter, she sent uh, a document, even her everything, even her passport, a picture of her passport, everything, before they could allow us to release the song. We also featured, on that particular song, I featured one of the uh, top Hollywood actors, Rasi, uh, Paul Rasi, who has featured um, work with Alicia Key, who is one of the best actors in Hollywood. Uh, so, uh, Nicola Cage, he has worked with Nicola Cage, worked with most of the aliens. He's very famous. He was on that song. So we brought a lot of people from different parts of the world on that particular song, Merry Christmas. Because Christmas is something that everyone across the world relate to. Exactly. Christmas song, nobody can say, I don't know Christmas. Even if you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, when it comes for Christmas, it's an holiday period. So everyone True. come together. Exactly. Family return homes. So these are the things I do. These are the kind of music I do. So nobody will say, I don't want to join. Even the Indian lady that joined, she's not a Christian, she's not a Muslim. She's an Hindu, Hindu, whatever. Hindu. <laughs> she joined Hindu. the Hindu, yeah. Okay, she's an Hindu worshiper. She joined the song. The lady that sang from Morocco, the Arabic lady, she's a Muslim. She joined the song. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So people came together from different beliefs, different tribes. They, come, they came together and they sang. Every one of them sang in their different languages. Yes, yes. The lady from Japan in Hindi, uh, the, the lady from Ghana sang in uh, Twi. People from different parts of the world sang in their different languages. Yes, yes. It's really awesome stuff. So that's uh, yes. You know, um, this, this, this reminds me, uh, I'm sure you may, I don't know if you've heard of a group that used to be called Playing for Change. Um, Basically, okay. the, the exact same, yes, yes, the exact same system that you use, I would say, I think, bringing yeah. different nations together in music and song, in vocals, etc., and bringing it yeah. into one, you know, bringing that yeah. union together in music, yeah. and it's really awesome, I must say. Yeah, thank you so I much. Thank you. Um, I, I, I actually love this. I really love this. Thank you so much. No problem. So, um, BJ Sam, uh, going further with questions. Uh, so, regarding the music video um, for "Marry Me," so on the visuals, the video juxtaposes 
tropic uh, and snowy scenes. What what was the significance of this contrast in conveying the message of the song? It's, it's still all about. You see, uh, that was Afri- partly Africa and partly Europe of fusion. Because yeah. normally, as I said, I like to blend cultures together. Yes. It's part of blending culture. It was snowy. We shot that part of part of the video in Sweden, part in Africa, part in other places. But yes. we're trying to blend the culture together, blend the image together. It was snow. There's no snow in Africa. It was sunny, sunny, bright in Africa. There was snow around that time. Uh, it was around December. This ending December around that time. Yes. We did the video. So we constructed this thing together. We bring, we will brought this thing together to just show harmony that no matter where you come from, we can actually be together. It's all about the same idea. Will you marry me? So basically, I use that particular lady, um, spicy model, because she could actually project the image so well. That's why I use a black lady there in the first video. The second video, I don't want. I cannot use another black lady. Yeah. So now the second video, which is more about now, I use a white lady. Yeah. So it's all about construct. If you see that, I don't want, I don't want. Uh, one of the things that I do in all my songs, I want people to relate to it. Yeah. I can just use a particular word from Sulu. Like I did a song recently, a few months ago, like few almost a month ago, with a Sulu artist. Okay. I did a song with a Sulu artist. Uh, the guy sang in Sulu. I sang in French. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another lady sang in um, Wolof. Yeah. Though there are other parts that are not added to it. So I want it now. People will play the song in South Africa. They will play the song in Europe. Everybody will say it's my own song. They will personalize it. Okay. The European will personalize it. The American will personalize it. The French people will personalize it. Everyone will personalize it. That is my whole idea of making this, such projects. So is either you 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 relate to the song by the video, the cultures, the sound, yes, and, um, different things. You can actually relate to the song by different things. In a music video, in a song with a music video, you can sell so many ideas. You can sell the culture. You can sell the idea. You can promote anything you want to promote. So I want to use it. Actually, I'm grateful to God for giving me this wisdom that I'm able to fuse this instrument together myself. Yes. And with the help of people and the video, I can actually sit down, create everything together to make sure that the original idea is projected. Because initially, I used to have my first video. I had a guy that edited it, ed- edited it in Italy. Uh-huh. Um, uh, he did a nice job, but it was very difficult for us to have the same idea. I was like, okay, I need this particular image. Can you change this one? No, 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 no. no. So there's always. What he sees bright is not what I see bright at the same time. We might not always yes. have the same vision, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so there's always a conflict. There's so there will be conflict somewhere, somewhere. We need to have at times it might not be to my. Uh, there are some video I've taken down myself because when we shot that video, yes, I was not in control of my visual. Okay. Okay. So I don't like the image today. I'm not proud of it today. The concept, few things that were in the video, they are, are something that I'm very proud of. So those I just take those videos off, offline. Okay. But now I make sure I have a video that I can edit myself because I have a mind. I have, I know my audience. I know the kind of audience I want. I know what I want to project. So I try to make, make sure that I'm in charge of the video. That's great stuff, um, BJ Sam. So about. Um, Monomore, which dropped yesterday, uh, which in English also means my love, right? So yes. about, about the new release, Monomore. So album concept, wh- what is the overall theme? Sorry about that. Um, as I was saying, uh, what is the overall theme or message behind your new album, which is Monomore? How does it differ from your previous work? Okay, Monamu is my love. Okay. Yes. And now, Monamu, there was a time, it's a remix, there was a time, the first time I first released the sound, it was used for American movie, Act of Fatness. Yes. So, uh, Leonard Kaufman actually used the sound, when I released it immediately, he used it as, uh, as a movie soundtrack for his movie called, uh, American movie called Act of Fatness. So, I, I decided to release it again, re- uh, modernize it, 
use uh, do it another version now you will see there's a white person maramu is swim up to you maramu means my love follow me forever mm-hmm. okay yeah it is an idea the first idea that either a, a, a black guy or a, a marine a, a white lady or a white lady getting married to a black guy either way yeah. now the lady need to accept the culture of the guy okay yes. and follow the guy down to africa do everything that a lady should do to the husband not say no i cannot go down to you i can't go down to your culture i cannot relate with your culture you have to relate with my culture no we should be able to tolerate each other that's why even in our environment when it comes to our environment we need to tolerate each other there shouldn't be a place like for instance they said okay some place in south africa a black person is not permitted to go in there so those kind of those kind of images we are trying to discourage everybody should be free to move everywhere you shouldn't be discriminated because of your color true that's right so So those are the kind of image that will project yes so um bj sam moving on further um to our next question on based on songwriting process can you describe your songwriting process do you have a specific routine or method for creating new music oh uh, uh, way back in 2012 was there i, I told like 200 songs that i wrote initially because i believe the mis- message was not what uh, there was a transition that moment so i now started writing songs that that resonate with people across the world before and I've disco- I discovered the power of music I, I I don't just write music as I said my music has to be positive message yes Jesus or Jesus is that talk about it was even if it's not Jesus I think I think about Jesus like the last time I see, uh, uh, Jesus, my Jesus has transformed my life yes. that's Jesus now love God is love true nobody will say nobody will as i said love is for everybody exactly god is for everybody yes okay i sing about love i sing about jesus i sing about everything that contribute positively to the environment i don't want to sing song that people will listen to and begin to get a take of class to kill other people i don't want to sing uh, one of the reasons that i i didn't, I didn't want to, to teach in america in new york is because of the god anybody can just come to the class and start shooting anybody can come to anyone and start shooting why from my research as a musician i've come to discover that most of the people that did all these things heard these things on tv yes they saw it on tv heard it through music i'm gonna fuck you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do 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 so they are intoxicated because music intoxicate people more than drugs yeah okay you see it's more powerful than drugs it's more powerful than alcohol it's not powerful than anything that's, so that's why you see people I, have you ever seen anyone drinking and started crying no, no. <laughs> music touches every part of your body it touches you no matter how strong you are when you listen to some kind of music you start crying true <laughs> that is how powerful music is that's why me, when it's come in time for election music uh, politician that are very very ski is wise they use some musician they compose some songs for them even yes. some people when they are very angry they started listening to some good music they just yes. come music i wrote uh, I, i've written two books the wonderful gift of music and before the sunrise wonderful music of me the wonderful gift of music they are all available on amazon and all those uh, bookstores and like wonderful yes. gift of music i talked about the power of music yes. someone that is in coma for years or for days for months Mm-hmm. If you play a music, the music that the person used to love all his life. Yes. If that person is in coma, he can't talk, he can't do anything. Just keep the music beside that person. Keep playing that music. Not loud. Let the music be playing. Yes. Slowly beside the person on the bed. The person is in coma. The music will find itself into the consciousness of that person. The person from in unconsciousness he will relate to the sound because it's used to that particular sound. True. And before you know it, the person will respond. Yes. After a short while, that's my big research on music. I don't just do music. I have discovered the power of music. Even in the Bible, Saul was sick. Yes. He was with a demonic spirit. Yes, yes. When they brought the dabs out to play, when she began to play, the spirit departed. So when they brought, the, 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 when they be played, uh, they played. 
I mean, David, when David played, the evil spirit departed. That's when true. Elijah needed to, um, Eli- 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 Elijah needed to hear from God, she brought a damsel to play. Yes. As the damsel began to play, the spirit of the Lord descended upon him, and he began yeah. to prophesy. So, what does it mean? First thing we have to realize that music, that music creates an atmosphere. True. Music creates an atmosphere. Exactly. So probably before Elijah arrived that place, he was not in good. He was not. If you are not happy, if you are not joyful, you cannot access. You cannot be prosperous on earth. That's why everybody on earth that is prosperous are people that are joyful, because yes. you cannot be productive if your mind is not happy. If you are not happy. Yes, it's true. So people that are not happy that listen to art music, they are volatile. They are destructive. Yes. They do something that are very, very destructive in the society, in their own. But if you play music that calm their soul, they will be able to think well and act well. That's true. That's really great stuff as well, BJ Sam. So, regarding future plans, so what are your plans for promoting Mon Amor and what can fans expect from you in the future? Okay, basically, um, Monamu, we, we, um, we're trying to use some content creators and influencers in Africa yes. to do some good promotion to put it into TikTok, to TikTok or some influencers yes. in Africa, which we will do it um, in the next, probably next week. Okay. Definitely next week. And um, what I've discovered in, is that uh, in Africa, it's very easy to promote when it comes to TikTok. Yes. If a particular a particular influencer is promoting something, the everybody join yes. to promote the same thing, to do the same thing. So that's what we're trying to do right now. So that they are trying to promote. Uh, there's a something going on from yesterday. There's a particular something that is training. Yes. So I, I will just leave these few days next week by the help of God. Okay. Uh, we're in communication with one of the top influencer in Africa. To mm-hmm. just make a video of a song, Maramu, and make a dance video with a couple, with a lady, the guy and the lady, make a couple, and put it on TikTok and every other platform. So if people start using it, the song will get start getting streamed on the platforms. And um, already the song is being played on top TV station in Europe, like TVN and every several other stations. Yeah. You've been asking if the link is broken because there's so much the traffic, people downloading it. Yes, uh, so the radio station downloading it from the drug post, the drug post is got uh, suspended because of excessive traffic. A lot of people are getting uh, downloading the song, putting it on the radio station. So in a row in America, we're trying to see it's going to go viral by the grace of God. Because what that post this time around, we try to use a very, very good visual. Yes. A visual because um, when you have a good song, you need a good visual. And I believe everyone that has seen this video have not received a, neg- a negative report from everyone. Yes. Everyone loved the sound, they loved the combination of the sound, they loved the video, the, com- the concept of the video, and they loved the imagery of the video. The quality, the quality is good. So, by the grace of God, I think everything is perfect so far. What we need to work on now is the promotion. And yes. that is what we are on right now. Awesome stuff, BJ Sam. So, still based on career and future plans, uh, regarding your goals, uh, what are your long-term goals for your music career? Are there any specific genres or projects you'd like to explore in the future? Okay, basically, as I said, I would love to uh, compose for Fever. Yeah. I would love to compose for some of the top, top uh, global events. Yes. Global events, okay. And I'm pretty soon we'll be going on tour with my uh, with my band. So we're trying to get some dates. We want we'll go on tour together with my good group. We have recorded about eight songs already, eight videos with musicians from all over the world. We we'll released eight songs already. Yeah. So pretty soon we'll go on tour in different part of the world. We've gotten some invitation already, but we're just going to work on. That since we all of us we live in different countries, we're just gonna work on and most of these artists they tour, they play almost every day. Like the the bass the bass is the bass player. Yeah. Magnus Rusen is one of the top ten bass player in the world. Sometimes they classify him among the top five, sometimes they classify him among the top ten. He's very good. He he plays in different part of the world almost every almost like three times in a week. Wow. He plays across the world. 
I think today he's playing, which one is he Spain or Germany? He's playing almost every time. Yeah. He's on tour every And he has been nominated for Grammy three times. He has been playing for so many years, so he's yeah. known everywhere. He has played almost anywhere. I don't... <laughs> he has played across the world. He has been, been to South Africa. He has been to a few countries in Africa. He has been to all over the world. Yeah. And he plays at times he plays as, a, as a solo bass player. So he, he also have a band. He plays for some rock. Some of the top band, the rock bands in the world. He has played for FM. I'm a, I'm a fall. Yes, yes. I'm a fall. It's a metal group that have won several Grammy. He has played for them for many years. So the guy is very good. So another, the other lady too, uh, think, um, Becky Finkel, Finkelo, uh, very, very top popular jazz musician who has, who has been known, who has played for several, for several concerts, don't release over 34. 35 album tour of the world including many countries in africa so so this are most of the because when i started this project was to bring icons together my concept was to bring icons together people that have this knowledge that imparted the world so much that was my idea and what god gave me this wisdom that whenever these people listen to my song my songs are so irresistible when they listen to my song wow where are you getting this idea from they have to contribute even if they have to travel, they leave everything to contribute on the song. They are very joyful that these people are the people that people pay thousands of dollars to see or to have them produce anything for them. But for me, they actually work almost free. Most of the time, free time. Free, let me say free, all time. Because um yeah. they love we they love what they are hearing. They know they have heard music over years. Most of them have played 30 years, have played <laughs> over 30 years. But when they hear my sound, yes. No, no, no. They, they know that something is different about this particular sound. Exactly. And the message that this is not what we have we are used to. Yes. Uh huh. So they know that it's just a gift of God. So it's not just about me. It's a gift of God. The sound I the song. Whenever I release the song, all of them are looking for opportunity to be on my song. And when I don't put them, any of them on my song, they are angry. Hey, you don't put me. You don't put me. So they are everybody is craving to be on the project. It's by only God. This is the wisdom of God. It's an idea from God. Because, uh, as I said, most of my songs, you're wondering, you ask the question, where do I get my inspiration? Most of my songs are yeah. from dreams. I used to have ideas from the dream. This is how to do it. Like this one, I'm going to have the idea from dream. Wow. <laughs> this is how to do it. This is how yes. to do it. Create a, 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 a section for the solo artist. So yes. I told the solo artist, you are going to play the bass from the beginning to the end. But you are going to create a 20 second solo bass solo. Uh huh. I told the uh, saxophone, you are, this is what you are going to do. I told every one of them, this is what you are going to do. I gave them a sample. I gave them the tempo. The tempo should be 118. Yes. And all of them, they did. We did the tempo. I sent them, okay, we did the tempo. Bro. We did everything. When they sent it to me, I, I began to mix it myself. I mixed it myself. I played the instrument. I like, sound good. Now I went to another studio to arrange it the same way I arrange it and just ma- ma- master it. Yes. That's how I've done. So basically, we'll go on tour. Those are the future plans. We'll go on tour. We seek to produce more songs for Hollywood. Yesterday, I submitted a song. Many Hollywood people, they call me. Many Hollywood movie pro- uh, supervisors. Okay, we have a new movie. Your sound is good. I just said, okay, fine. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yes. So I want to post more for Hollywood movies, British movies, and. Uh, why not other other people adverts my songs are used for adverts on several tv stations wow so music uh, is just like that so. true that's that's absolutely correct um bj sam so um final question uh for this moment uh do you have a message for any aspiring uh, musicians or artists out there who wish to follow the legacy that you carry as well First, first thing I would like to say is that don't intend to ruin the world. Don't yes. ruin the world. Because many people are, are, are willing to do anything to get fame. Okay? Many, many musicians are willing to do anything. Ladies are willing to go naked just to gain, to make, they will perform naked. I learned that Rihanna, I'm not sure, I learned that she said that uh, she regrets all those times she she was almost naked because now she's a mother 
true. Okay. Okay. So don't do think that you'll regret tomorrow. Don't do think that will lure the the your viewers or your fans to 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 sin or to eat God. And dare to be different. Well, that's what I would tell people. Dare to be different. Yes. Don't follow what is trending now. What is trending now might not trend in the next ten years. You don't know when you are going to come out. Yeah. It might take you three years to come out. So if you are following the trend today, when you are eventually out, that trend may have fade off. Okay. Yes. You can follow the trend, but don't leave your originality. You must act, discover what makes you different. Okay. Yes. You can. You must discover what makes you different. Even if you do okay once in a while, you say, ah, it's not as if I don't know what is happening. You can do one of songs. That makes you okay. I am. I'm flowing with the trend. Well, I say keep my originality. You introduce your originality. You see, keep your trend. You introduce original. Let people know you for who you are. Because every musician for you to be different, for you to be celebrated, the world must celebrate you for one thing. So, what is that thing that the world will celebrate you for? Yes. What do you want to be known for? Before you start making music, write down who are your audience. Who do you want to reach? The music they want to reach now, he, will it apply to them? If will it resonate with them? Where are they? How do I reach them? Okay, so right from the time I knew that the people that would love my music most would be from Europe and America. I knew from the time. So right now, if you check on my view, you check my YouTube, you check and my Spotify, you check my Instagram, you check everywhere, you will see the numbers of people listening to my songs. They are from the US, UK. Sweden, France, Africa are coming very last. I'm an African person. Why is it like that? From the beginning, I knew that was my vision. Yes. By showing my email, go to my uh, to my Instagram page, Bijisa Music. You will see that the last time Spotify posted every December, they used to post. They used to send you the nation your song that did well, the nation that are listening to your song. You will see that. Yeah. You will see that, that America is number one. Wow. America is number one. I'm checking on it right now. Okay, yes, I am on my Instagram page. You will see it. They said your music was streamed in 116 countries. Your top five countries were United States, France, Canada, United Kingdom, Sweden. Can you see now? Wow. <laughs> this is from Spotify. So no African countries there among the top five. United States, France, Canada, United Kingdom, Sweden. I knew where my fans were. Yes. I knew that that is the music. That those are the people that would resonate with my music first. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. So it's just like that. You need to know where you are. Yes. Uh, you might not. Really, you you know who the people that will love your music. Now, if you know that these people will love your music, try and reach out to them because if you do this kind of music, because I remember when I started singing. You should tell me, eh, you, you better go to America because this kind of music won't sell here. It's true. So now I needed to start getting a way of sending this music across to the Americans, yes. across to the Australians, across to the people in other parts. Thank God for internet. I can easily send it to them on uh, internet, um, emails, or any other. Once you send it to them, you resonate with them. Yes. Okay, so that is how. So, no, as I said, I have a vision, date to be different. And have in mind that don't ruin your destiny yes. because of a temporary game. Because don't just ruin your destiny. Yes. Because many in the future you might live to regret it. You might live to regret it. You might just live to regret it. Because one of the things that the musician need to realize that I would I really wish to talk to one musician. Look at the musician that are ahead of you. Yes. How did they finish? The musician, all the great musician, how did they finish? That did what you that did the negative things. How did they finish? Those that were promoting pornography, those that were into drugs, how did they end it? Yes. Or oh, how is their ending now? Okay, now this is what they did. They did what you are doing now. And look at where they are, or look at how they ended. Do you want to end the way they ended? Or do you want to be like them? That's why you see many musicians. I wrote a, 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 an article sometime. Musicians that went from grace. Yes. To grass, musician that went from that, that went from riches to rap. Mm-hmm. They had all the money, they had everything, but they went back down to ashes. True. Okay, look at look at for instance, look at 
one of our favorite musicians, one of my favorite musicians. Parakali is in prison today. So now, as, as a musician, what what took him there? How did he land there? Okay, are you doing the same thing? If you do the same thing, where do you think you will end up? Parakali is very gifted. One of the best musicians though. The what has ever uh, the what I've seen in the past sixty years. Wow. He's very gifted. Very gifted. Arkel is very gifted. But because of just small error, they said okay, uh, we don't know if it's true or not that he was molesting women, young ladies, young girls. Ah. He's in prison. And now they said all his songs are not played on radio stations. And because of the media, the news is everywhere. Nobody's playing his song across the world. On radio station they took it down even on spotify they took his song down everywhere you see so it's not just something a lot of people i, I, I had a musician today terrorist american musician saying he would never sell his, sell his soul to the devil he will not do anything many musicians are doing that yeah. so he said he will not do it okay these are great musicians in american scene but he said i'm not going to do that mm-hmm. so I will just give advice to keep, keep, it might be difficult, it might seem difficult, just keep pushing. Yes. You will get to a point, if you are very gifted, you will get to a point, they can't do without you. Yes. Uh, Tyrus is, uh, uh, Tyrus is the American artist who said, I will sell my soul to the devil, I will remain like I am. So it's not easy, they will fight you, they will fight you, they will try to oppose you. But today, music, music is very easy now. You don't need the record label to make there's TikTok there to get you there, there's Facebook there, there are social media there, you become a star overnight. So that's why most of the African artists now they don't even want to be signed now. They don't want to be signed. They want to have their freedom. So there's no need for you to just destroy yourself or destroy the people listening to you. So that's all the advice I have for the younger ones. Wow, this this that that was a really awesome message uh, to the aspiring musicians and artists out there from BJ Sam, and we really had an awesome session today. Before we head out, uh, BJ Sam, do you want to say uh, send a shout out to your fans and listeners out there? Anything else you want to add? Oh, I just want to say hello to everyone. I've given advice to the 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 the. the upcoming ones and uh, aspiring ones yeah. and i want to thank everyone for taking time to listen i know i sent a link to all my people across and i believe some of them have listened i want to give a shout out to everyone for listening and uh, thank you so much uh, i want you all to check out my songs i have beautiful songs on my platform on my youtube spotify itunes all those platforms bj sam music on BJ Sam Music, you can follow me on all the platforms, social media platforms, and streaming platform. You will discover good music that will motivate you. Good music, good music that you will listen that will make you to take good positive, positive uh, actions. There's no style. There's a song. There's no style. You can't reach. You are my hero. Mm-hmm. There are good, good songs. There are good, good positive songs. Yes. So I can't wait to hear from you guys again on my coach. Wow! It was really. It was really awesome having you with us today, BGSM, an awesome session indeed. Glad to have you with us on the lines and for being a part of our session for today. So ladies and gentlemen, that was BGSM with us right here for this moment. And we did mention Mon Amor, which released yesterday. We spoke about it a short while ago as well. And we're going to be playing it for you guys to have a listen to it. For those of you who have never listened to it yet, you're about to listen to it now. This is another awesome one indeed. And you got to listen to this one, guys. So here it is coming up. Mon Amor featuring none other than the man of the moment, BG Sam. You guys enjoy. And I will see you shortly. Best days on the best music for your ears. My one and only station. station you can't live without this is your radio this is south coast radio